Hello, colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss the latest as usual. We start with the Dembele saga. PSG aimed to complete the Barca forward 50 million euro transfer by Friday. We are going to discuss that as we progress. Secondly, talking about Robert Lewandowski as the Barca superstar outlines Champions League ambitions for the new season, as he said, we will do better. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. As evidence regarding Ousmane Dembele's impending transfer to Paris Saint-Germain continues to pour in, Barcelona are beginning to accept the reality of parting ways this summer. Whispers of disillusionment spread like wildfire through the ranks of the betrayed Blaugrana faithful, as Xavi has also reportedly taken the news with disappointing sensations. All that remains now is the nail in the coffin, and according to Sport, PSG aspire to close the signing of Dembele before Friday so that he can start training with the team as soon as possible. Dembele is unlikely to take part in Barcelona's final pre-season friendly against AC Milan, which took place tonight. In the USA, the activation of the 26-year-old's private clause of 50 million euros by PSG leaves him with one foot out of the exit door. Barcelona are understood to have officially authorized the Frenchman to complete his transfer to Paris as well, indicating that the deal is on the cusp of being done. The Frenchman had already agreed personal terms over a five-year contract worth 20 million euro per season with PSG. And once the final details of the agreement between the two clubs are finalized, the former Borussia Dortmund man will then travel to Paris to complete his medical and signing. Luis Enrique's team will leave for home on Friday after touring Asia, and that is when they hope to complete Dembele's acquisition as well. In just under two weeks, PSG will commence their season in Ligue 1. As such, the reigning champions look forward to integrating Dembele within the squad before taking on Lorient on the 12th of August. Settling matters with PSG quickly will also enable Barcelona to start focusing on their strategy on how to replace him, of course, as well as strengthening the other areas like the right back. The Embele's transfer saga is still making a lot of headlines as with, with each passing day, we realize that this guy is leaving. For sure, he's leaving. So for those who still think Dembele might still somehow stay, um, you better stop dreaming because Dembele will be departing for PSG. Of course, this has brought a lot of disappointment from the Barca faithfuls. The coaching staff have been so disappointed. You know, this is a guy who just played the El Clasico not long from, I think, was it on Saturday? Scored a goal, he was happy. Nobody saw this coming and... Within a split second, what did we see? We see Dembele going behind Javi's back and do stuff, which make everybody see him as a betrayal. And of course, he is a betrayal, right? But let's face the facts. In life, when the money is there, it's more tempting than anything because most of us that we call Dembele a, a betrayer or a traitor, if we were in his shoes, we could have even done the same or worse, right? So let's not act as if some people are perfect here. Yeah. We're saying the general sense is that human beings will always want to go for the money. Majority will go for the money. If somebody is taking just 4.5 million euros per season in his old club, like how Dembele was doing for Barca, PSG have come and offered him 20 million. How many of us will stay? You can't, I don't think anybody will stay. The money is really wonderful. That is why most players will go for the money than anything else. We understand that loyalty is good. Fans like loyalty. But the very fans, if they are in those players' shoes, they will do the same. 
So Dembele to PSG looks very certain. Fabrizio Romano have been giving us the updates. Of course, how things are panning out as the player. Um, of course, he did not play against AC Milan, which Barca won one nil, which means that it is over. Because after that match, we well, we saw the the post match interview by Xavi. Marcos Alonso also spoke. And we saw all of them admitting that yes, Dembele wants to leave, and they feel so so hurt by that, because he's a quality player, and losing such player is is really painful. Javi feels betrayed. Alonso says we must move forward despite Dembele leaving. That's not the end of the world. Of course, that's not the end of the world for sure. I definitely think Barca will still do well without him. Dembele does not even score goals. He's just that runner. He, you know, he has pace. He has dribbling skills. Yes, which is good for any winger of a Barca type. But I don't think his final decision was good. And there's no, there's no way we can miss Dembele to the level like how we miss Neymar. There's just no way, right? Even Neymar left. What did we do? We still won the the La Liga under Ernesto Valverde. Then what more of Dembele? So I think we just have to persevere. We just have to hope that this coming season will still be better, despite Dembele leaving for PSG. Then, on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona concluded last season with elation, accompanying them on the finishing line, as the Catalans emerged victorious in La Liga and triumphed in the Spanish Super Cup. However, expectations at the club are always mounting. An objective laid down by the hierarchy are bound to increase in the upcoming season, especially in European competitions. Speaking on CBS Sports Morning Footy Podcast, Barca's talisman in attack, Robert Lewandowski, spoke about the team's aspirations, particularly shedding light on the UEFA Champions League, the competition that has continuously given Barca's problems over the years. Although the Catalans came out victorious in La Liga, room for improvement exists in abundance, especially in Champions League, where Barca were eliminated at the group stages in each of the last two seasons. Aiming to make improvements in the T, Lewandowski shared a positive outlook ahead of the forthcoming campaign, as he said, we will be better this season. New signings and elevated familiarity between teammates are something that undeniable raises Barca's prospects. You know, they, that said, the biggest measure of improvement will be seen through the Catalan's performances in the Champions League as consecutive demotions to Europa League have left a bitter test. Recognizing the value of this tournament, the Polish striker reassured fans stating, we consider the Champions League to be very important. As a Champions League winner with Bayern, he is aware of the challenges presented in this tournament. Lewandowski went on to further express some of the prerequisites for winning the title and shed light on what went wrong for Barca last season. In the Champions League, you need luck and all players available, but last season we suffered 5 or 6 injuries and were out after competition, Lewandowski said. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.